In this lecture, we are going to talk about atonic bladder and overflow incontinence. But to understand atonic bladder, we must know about micturition reflex. I am going to summarize the micturition reflex quickly, but I have made a detailed video about micturition reflex, which you must watch to properly understand this thing. Now, micturition reflex basically uh, means that the, the urinary bladder, the urinary bladder, it starts contracting. It starts contracting and there are some micturition waves or micturition contraction which basically means that the urinary bladder starts contracting due to the micturition waves or the micturition contractions and these waves or these micturition contractions basically increases they basically increases when the volume of urine in the bladder increases so as the volume of the as the volume of urine in the bladder increases the micturition waves the micturition waves also keeps on increasing and in their intensity the pressure of contraction of urinary bladder also increases there are two types of tensions or pressures in the urinary bladder one is the basal tone basal pressure which is basically due to the volume and it keeps on increasing with the volume but on top of that for a few seconds or a few minutes the urinary bladder starts contracting at every level even if the volume is 200 or 300 or 400 at every level despite of increasing this basal tone there is acute raise in the acute increase in the uh, contraction and acute rise in the pressure in the urinary bladder and that then settles down then after some time when the volume of urine increases then there is again a rise in the pressure and then it settles down so this is basically these waves of contractions are basically due to the micturition reflex now we know that the micturition reflex starts due to sensory stretch receptors on the posterior urethra on the posterior side of the urinary bladder for example this is the posterior urethra here are some urine uh, sensory stretch receptors whenever the the urine comes through the, these ure ureters and the urinary bladder starts filling these sensory stretch receptors get stretched because the urinary bladder gets filled with the urine so they get stretched and they send signals to the spinal cord the spinal cord starts the micturition reflex and the motor signals basically come in this pelvic nerve and those are basically parasympathetic nerve and they start they start contraction of the urinary bladder now this is this is basically important this is very much important in the micturition reflex now if due to any problem if due to any problem the nerves which are basically taking the signals to the spinal cord if they are damaged if they are damaged for example at this point they are damaged then the urinary bladder will be filling with urine the urinary bladder will be filling with urine but it won't be emptying properly because to start the micturition reflex to start the contraction of the urinary bladder to start contraction of the urinary bladder the micturition reflex is important the micturition reflex starts when the sense sensory uh, sensory receptors stretch receptors are uh, excited or stimulated now when they get stimulated they send the signals through the pelvic nerve to the sacral segment of the spinal cord if these nerves which are taking the signals from the urinary bladder if they are damaged at some point then urine will be coming and the urinary bladder will be filling with urine but the micturition reflex will not be occurring then the ure urinary bladder won't be emptying properly what will happen is that the urinary bladder will basically fill up it to its capacity a lot of urine will basically accumulate in the urinary bladder and then some urine will be basically starts uh, dribbling and this is basically known as overflow incontinence this is known as overflow incontinence and the condition the condition in which the micturition reflex cannot start start due to damage of the sensory signal transmission to the spinal cord causes the atonic bladder so when atonic bladder occurs bleeding a bladder emptying cannot occur properly and overflow incont incontinence occurs because bladder keeps on filling the bladder keeps on filling with urine but the reflex to start emptying the bladder cannot occur because because that reflex starts when signals are carried from these uh, urinary bladder to the spinal cord and then spinal cord is basically sending signals to the urinary bladder so if the those nerves which are taking the signals to the spinal cord if they are damaged then the signals from the spinal cord cannot come to the bladder because the spinal cord will not be aware of any activity going around in the urinary bladder this segment of the spinal cord which is responsible for the micturition reflex it will perceive that the urinary bladder is empty so it will never start the micturition reflex which is basically important for the um, emptying of bladder so such a condition is known as atonic bladder now there are a lot of causes for the atonic bladder and there are a lot of a lot of causes for the damage of these nerve but most common cause is basically crush injury any accident which causes crush injury at this level will lead to atonic bladder in which overflow incontinence will occur in which a lot of urine will accumulate in the urinary bladder and then dribbling will occur so that's all about atonic bladder thanks a lot for watching the video